Hey guys, Camera with CBM Reviews here. And last year, technically this year, I did a video where I was talking about all the movies that were gonna be coming out for 2020. And then the year happened. So, it didn't quite go off as planned, but that does not mean that I am going to forsake you guys. I am ready to give you the roadmap for 2021. A little bit on the early side, but what else do I have to do? Anyway, these are all of the comic book movies that are either definitely coming out or are presumed to be coming out in 2021, and we're about to get this party started. Now on most of these, I tried to get the dates as accurate as possible. If they did not have dates on them when I was doing my research, I got to where I thought that they would be released. So these are not concrete because as we've seen this year, things can change, but let's go ahead and get started. The first comic book movie coming out or projected to come out next year is Batman, Soul of the Dragon. This is directed by Sam Liu, who has directed a slew of animated DC projects. And it stars David Guintoli, Mark Dacascos, Michael Jai White, and Kelly Hu. This is, I think, uh, like an Elseworlds tale where Batman is in the 1970s and he has to team up with a bunch of other students of his kung fu master. And it's kind of a love letter to, to kung fu in 1970s kind of things. To be completely honest, I'm, I'm lukewarm on it. It looks like it could be fun. Um, I described it in a specific way uh, when I first heard about it, but I, I can't say that I'm looking forward to it. Elseworlds Tales can be fun. Superman Red Sun was an Elseworlds Tale and I loved it. Uh, it wasn't perfect. It didn't follow the comic book to a T, but I really enjoyed it for what it was. This one, I'm not sure. So my excitement is going to be a 5 out of 10. Hopefully it is better than uh, I'm expecting and it more than likely will be, but it's, it's halfway there. Next on my list is The King's Man, which uh, was supposed to be released uh, in 2020, but got bumped to 2021. I've already talked about this video before, but if you didn't watch that video, this is directed by Matthew Vaughn, one of the best comic book movie directors out there. It does star Matthew Good, Ralph Fiennes, Gemma Archerton, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. And this is the telling of the first Kingsman back in pre-World War I times, and they're going up against Rasputin. So that, that's pretty much all that I know about it. That's all that I care to know about it. I was super excited about it in 2020. I'm still super excited about it this year. It still gets the eight out of 10 excitement factor for me. I cannot wait for it to finally come out and right around, uh, right around Valentine's Day. The next date that we're looking at is March 19th because this is another pushback movie. This one is Morbius. Morbius is going to be directed by Daniel Esposita, and it stars Jared Leto, Matt Smith, Adria Arjona, or Arjona, I'm not exactly sure, and Tyrese Gibson. Once again, uh, I've talked about this movie before. Uh, once again, my excitement isn't all that high on it. It's a four out of 10, not because I don't like Morbius, the character, because I do like Morbius. Uh, I, I grew up on Michael Morbius back in the 90s, but I'm not a fan of the look of the trailer. I'm not a fan that they kind of gave away a surprise in the trailer, but it is what it is. Uh, even though I like the character, it still is only a four out of 10 for me as far as excitement is concerned. Uh, I will watch it, we'll see. The next movie on this list is a guess because we really don't know anything about the movie. This is another DC animated project, Justice Society World War II. It's anticipated that this release is going to be in the spring, so I'm, so I'm guessing that it's going to be coming out at the end of April. And we don't have a synopsis. The only thing that we know about this movie is that it is an original story, so it will be based on characters from the Justice Society of America, but it will be a story that we haven't seen in the books. Maybe there will be some loose connections, but we don't know anything. Uh, so there's really not a whole lot for me to be excited about. I don't know what the art style is going to be. We don't know any actors. We don't have a director. So I mean, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Generally speaking, DC animated features do a pretty good job, but I don't even have any images to show you. So how can you get excited about it? However, the next movie that we're gonna be talking about, we've got plenty to be excited for. This one is Black Widow. Another release that was supposed to come out in 2020 got pushed back to 2021. This one is directed by Kate Shortland 
and it stars Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pugh, Rachel Weisz, and David Harbour. This one's being released on May 7th, so it's going to be a Black Widow, Cameron birthday party situation. We'll take it. And as I've said, uh, I'm not really excited about this because this is taking place in between Civil War and Infinity War, so I'm not worried whether or not she's going to be fine. She's gonna be fine. And she should have been, this movie should have been released years ago. They should have made this movie before Captain Marvel. So my excitement for it's only gonna be a seven out of 10, even though I'm a huge MCU fan. The exec screwed this up for me. It, it wasn't the actors, it wasn't the story. The executive should have released this uh, a well long time ago. The next movie on the list is also a 2020 transplant because of situations. I feel like I feel like I should be able to say the name of the disease without YouTube getting all bent out of shape, but you know, we're gonna play it safe. This is Venom, Let There Be Carnage. It was supposed to be released in October of uh, 2020, but it's being released in June, specifically June 25th. This one's directed by Andy Serkis, his second movie that he's directing, the first one being Mowgli, which was released on Netflix. And this stars Tom Hardy, Woody Harrelson, Michelle Williams, and Naomi Harris. We don't really have any plot points, but this is, of course, taking place after the events of the Venom movie, which came out a couple years back. My excitement for this movie isn't super high. If you know me, you know that I'm not a fan of the symbiotes. I'm not a fan of Venom or Carnage. Like, they're fine, but I'm not in love with these characters. I much prefer the classic 1960s Spider-Man villains. So because of that, my excitement is only going to be four out of 10. The next movie on this list is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is the second MCU movie that is being released this year. It was originally scheduled to be 2021, but it was going to be in February, but they had to move some things around, so this one gets a summer release. It's being released on July the 9th, and it's directed by Destin Daniel Cretton. It stars Simu Liu, Tony Lung Chu Wai, I am so sorry, Aquafina, and Florian Montanao. And this is based on the uh, Shang Chi character from Marvel Comics, the uh, character that I know the second least about as far as MCU releases this year. Um, so my excitement isn't exactly through the roof. This is one of the first kind of like Defenders level character that we're going to see uh, in the MCU, uh, not counting Spider-Man, I guess. But still, we're going to get an honest to goodness Mandarin out of this. So that's going to counteract for my disdain for Iron Man 3. Uh, as far as excitement though, it still isn't very high. We don't have a trailer yet, so it's a 5 out of 10. It's going to be great. I, I really do think it's going to be great. This is not uh, a scale of how good is the movie going to be. This is a scale of how excited am I for it. And it's just a, it's just a halfway. The next movie on this list is also an approximate release date. This is Batman The Long Halloween Part 1, the third DC animated movie, which we have no other uh, information for. So we don't have a director, we don't have any actors, we don't have a plot, but we do have a plot. If you've ever read the Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale uh, graphic novel, you understand what the story is going to be. And we're assuming that this is going to be released in late July. As far as an excitement level for this movie, because we don't have anybody signed up for it, because we don't have all, you know, we don't have a director, we don't have any clips or any imagery, it's still going to be a six. Although this is one of the more acclaimed Batman stories, I like to get my eyes on something uh, to give me an idea of what I'm looking forward to. And since I don't have that yet, I can't put my excitement too high. The next movie on the list, which I think is going to be a huge blockbuster, is The Suicide Squad. Yes, this is kind of an offshoot from the first Suicide Squad movie that we got a few years back, but this is not your daddy's Suicide Squad. This one is being directed by James Gunn. Yes, that James Gunn. And it stars a lot of the people from the first movie, but not everybody. You get Margot Robbie, you get Jai White Courtney, you get Viola Davis, you get Joel Kinnaman. So you get those staples, but then there is a crap ton of other actors that are gonna be in this, like Idris Elba and John Cena and Sean Gunn and a, a whole slew of other characters. Um, this is supposed to be completely bat crazy and in the best possible way. We got 
a bad crazy Suicide Squad movie already, but this one is supposed to be more entertaining, and I'm looking forward to that. If it were not James Gunn, this excitement level would be lower, but because it is, seven out of 10, I think, is just the right level for anticipation for this huge, packed movie. The next movie on the list, which is not going to be released in theaters, but it's supposed to be an HBO Max exclusive, is the Snyder Cut of the Justice League. I'm giving it its own spot here because it's supposed to be a completely different movie than the one that we got that was co-directed by Snyder and Whedon. This has gone through reshoots and it's gone through a whole lot of other things to give it the more Snyder authentic version that we're looking for. And it stars everybody that was in the first one. So you're gonna get Ben Affleck, you're gonna get Gal Gadot, you're gonna get Jason Momoa, you're gonna get Henry Cavill. Everybody's gonna be coming back to this, but I think that there's going to be uh, some more character development I think that we're going to get a good bad guy because Big Daddy D's coming to town and if you're going to do this Justice League right, you've got to give them somebody that I'm excited to look forward to. And so because of this whole new factor and because it's the Justice League and because I want it to be good, my excitement level is a 9 out of 10. I normally don't give DC this much praise as far as their live action goes, but I am ready to see a complete 180 from the Justice League that we got before. The next movie on this list is one that was supposed to be released in 2020, but I completely forgot to talk about last time. This one is Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. The new release date on this movie is October 22nd. It's being directed by Robert Schwenk. It stars Henry Golding, Samara Weaving, Ursula Corbero, and Andrew Koji. And it's pretty much telling the origin story of Snake Eyes. Uh, if I was a bigger G.I. Joe fan, I could get into this. I'm not, I have watched all the other G.I. Joe movies in theaters. I don't want to talk about my experiences with those because that might taint what my excitement level is uh, for this movie, but it's still not very high. I gotta go with a four out of 10 just because I'm not the biggest fan of G.I. Joe, but I bet that the action sequences are gonna be bananas. I'm pretty sure, and like I said, this is a guess that the next comic book movie that's coming out after that one is going to be Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. I don't really have to give any kind of explanation there. We still don't have a director. We still don't have actors. It's still going to be a 6 out of 10 because why put a different excitement factor on on this one if I gave a 6 out of 10 for part 1. The last 2020 transplant that we're going to talk about here is The Eternals. This one was supposed to be released in November of 2020. It's getting a November release now in 2021. Everybody that was attached before is still attached here, so Chloe Zhao is going to be directing. It stars Angelina Jolie, Selma Hayek, Kumail Nanjiani, and Kit Harington. They're all there, plus there are quite a few other actors. Uh, this is that old school uh, 1960s Marvel feel, Jack Kirby, uh, and it's going to have a lot of the, the history of not just these characters, but of the Marvel Universe as a whole. Um, once again, I don't know that much about these characters. Um, and so because of that, five out of 10 is fair. It's MCU, but the track record is good. And so I'm expecting good things for these characters. If we are lucky and we have been so far, we will get something as gorgeous as Guardians of the Galaxy was whenever it came out and we didn't know anything about those characters either. Next on the list, and I am so happy to talk about this movie, is the Spider-Man, Three, the, the Spider-Man that's coming out after Spider-Man Far From Home. I am just going to preface it with a 10 out of 10 excitement level just to just get that out of the way because we have what could possibly be the biggest comic book crossover movie of all time and that is surpassing Avengers Endgame which came out just in 2019. This has potential to be so God dang awesome. <laughs> this movie has a release date of December the 17th, so it's an early Christmas present if it comes out that day. John Watts is set to direct. Everybody that's in the current Spider-Man roster is going to be here. Tom Holland, Marissa Tomei, Zendaya, Jacob Batalon, but we have so many other people that are set 
Jamie Foxx is reprising his role as Electro. Alfred Molina is reprising his role as Dr. Octopus. There are so many other people that are in talks to return. Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst. So, if everything comes together, I'm going to have a very, very enjoyable December. And the last movie that is on this list that I'm going to talk about, but I'm not sure if it's actually coming out in 2021, is Black Adam. Black Adam is being directed by Adam Steichel. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It stars Dwayne Johnson, Aldous Hodge, Sarah Shahi, and Noah Centineo. We're not exactly sure what date is projected, although there are some online sources that say that it's going to be coming out on December the 23rd, but that is unconfirmed by other sources. We know that this is going to center around the anti-hero of Black Adam, uh, and I do believe Jaimin Hansu is supposed to be coming back as the wizard in this movie, but we're not exactly sure what time it takes place, when it is, if it's early on, if it's later on, is Zachary Levi going to show up? We're not sure. My excitement level for this is going to be right at that five to 10 because we don't know as much, we haven't gotten a trailer, but it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So it's going to be pretty fun, no matter if it's good or bad. <laughs> so that is my comprehensive list of 2021 comic book movie releases. You let me know which one you are most excited for next year in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends. As always, this is Cameron with CBM Reviews. We'll see you next time.